Hello, I'm Jack Davis, SDSU Extension Crops Business Management Field Specialist. Today we're going to talk about agricultural fundamentals and their influence on commodity markets. Agricultural commodity price determination is based on the intersection of supply and demand. The supply is determined by the amount of production of a commodity. Agricultural crop commodity production is based on the number of acres that are of a crop that are planted, the conditions at planting, and during the growing season, as well as inputs utilized including seed varieties, amount of fertilizer that's applied. The market anticipates supply changes related to the progress of crops as they are planted, additional weather during the production season, and historical yield changes related to improving technology. The other side of price determination is based on demand drivers. Demand is driven by end users' margins in the using of the commodity to produce higher order products or trade the commodity for currency in more distant markets. In addition, demand drivers also include macroeconomic conditions such as gross domestic product growth, interest rates, currency rates, and energy prices. One fundamental indicator that is largely focused on by market participants and encompasses both supply and demand is referred to as ending stocks. Ending stocks are calculated by taking the total projected supply for a given marketing year and subtracting the expected total use estimate. The lower the estimate of ending stocks indicates tighter conditions because there is an expectation that fewer stocks will be carried over to the next marketing year. They could provide a supply cushion for future supply disruptions. Lower ending stocks support higher prices. On the other hand, when ending stocks are higher, there are more stocks that can be carried over to the next marketing year. Higher ending stocks suppress prices. Since stocks are plentiful, in the event there are supply disruptions, stocks carried over can be used to fill demand. One fundamental indicator that many market participants follow is the stocks to use ratio. Stocks to use ratio is calculated by taking the projected ending stocks level and dividing that estimate by the total use estimate. The stocks to use ratio gives an indication of carryover stocks relative to expected demand. Market participants focus on factors with the greatest uncertainty during the marketing year. During March through May in the U.S., market participants focus on developing expectation of the number of acres that will be planted to the various crops. After this period, the U.S. market participants focus heavily on weather forecasts to predict potential yields. Weather markets are most active between June through August during the reproduction stage of most of the major commodities. Market participants then turn their attention to harvest production estimates. In the U.S., these estimates begin in August and are largely set by November. Then the focus of the market moves its attention to domestic usage and export pace from December through February. However, with the soybean market, the critical component of South American soybean production is incorporated into the U.S. market watch through the marketing year. South American weather, which growing season is during the winter months in the U.S., can influence U.S. export demand. During September through November, the U.S. market monitors the acres planted in South America and the weather conditions. The focus on South American weather conditions is particularly important during December through February when yields will be most affected. Throughout the marketing cycle, the USDA releases various reports that make projections on supply and demand. Prior to the release of these reports, market analysts from major firms with an interest in the commodity markets develop expectations on what the reports will reveal. When the actual reports are released and the estimates deviate from pre-release expectations, prices typically adjust. 
to incorporate the change in fundamentals. If the reports are in line with the average estimates, generally there is less reaction to the report, since most market participants were expecting those reported numbers. Fundamental analysis can be utilized to develop price expectations based on current supply and demand and on expected conditions. The stocks to use ratio is one fundamental factor that can be compared to years with similar stocks to use levels to estimate expected price ranges. For more information on this topic, visit igro.org.